I thought January was the dumping ground for shitty ass food. Patriots Day, starring Mark Wahlberg, J.K. Simmons, uh, Kevin Bacon, John Goodman, Michelle Monaghan, Monaghan, Mon whatever the fuck her name is. I might be butchering it. I'm sorry if I am. But uh, she actually had two movies that came out this weekend. Uh, she had Sleepless, and she had this film. If I have to tell you to choose when you go to the movie theater, or which one to go see, go see her in this film. Uh, even though she has a bigger role in Sleepless, and she does fine in that film, this is just a better movie overall, okay? Th this is about the 2013 uh, Boston Marathon bombing. Um, you would think that uh, this was too soon for this tragic event that took place, but honestly, I don't really think so. I, there's a lot behind this story that I knew nothing about. I went into this knowing that I was going to like it because I'm a fan of Peter Berg's films. I'm a fan of Mark Wahlberg. Even though he might not be the greatest actor, he his movies are better than his, his actual acting is. So, uh, and I'm going to get into that a little bit later. So, yeah, like Deepwater Horizon, Lone Survivor, love them films. Say what you want about his acting or whatever, but he does pick some pretty good movies. And Peter Berg is a damn good director. He is one of the best in the biz today. So, hey, we got to forgive him about that horrendous battleship movie but you know he's done films as far as the rundown Friday Night Lights um, uh, Deepwater Horizon uh, there among other films there there Peter Berg is just really good at what he does I think he's found his sweet spot as a director I still remember this guy all the way back and watching uh, that Wes Craven film uh, shocker with the inmate or something that that died and, and then he's like coming through TVs or, or through electricity or something I I, I I I vaguely remember that film but I remember him being the main star in that movie so yeah this guy has got quite a career in front of him he's also done a few episodes or maybe one I, I know he's involved with the HBO show ballers with the rock so yeah, and they're talking about uh, the rundown two uh, starring The Rock and Jonah Hill. Um, if you haven't seen the first one, that's one of those movies that are that's kind of underrated. I highly recommend you checking it out. Uh, the the first rundown starred The Rock, Sean William Scott, and Christopher Walken. Very very great movie. But th this isn't about those films. This is about Patriots Day. Now I'm going to talk about the acting. I'm going to talk about the directing. I'm going to talk about the story. So I'm, I'm gonna try to say I'm, I'm gonna try not to put any spoilers in this film because I went into it not knowing much about it. Now I knew the Boston Marathon bombing was gonna happen. It kind of surprised me when it did, but it's more at the beginning of the film. Okay, so this is more about the manhunt that, that took place to find these two guys uh, that 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 uh, created this terrorist attack. Um, at, this took place more on the manhunt, and I I, I knew little to nothing about it. And basically, these two guys, they could have gotten away with this. Uh, I mean, but, you know, I guess with today's technology and everything like that, I mean, it's kind of hard to get away with anything, especially an event like this. Um, now, I read up on this story to make sure, see how accurate it was and everything like that, because I, I, was, I was hoping that they weren't trying to just profit off of... Uh, off of the uh, the tragic event that took place, but um, the only thing that I could find that was actually that that was actually like like fiction about this story was Mark Wahlberg's character. Now he's basically just there to tie everything together. It's a Boston Strong movie. This is basically you know he actually he didn't want to do this film because of that reason, but he finally they, I guess Peter Berg. I'm, I'm sure they're pretty good friends with all the movies they they've worked on together. But he talked him into it. Uh, that he is not the main focal point of this movie, and I love that. I love that this movie paid tribute to to the people that were involved in this in this situation. Now, at the beginning of the movie, I was having some 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 issues with the with the actual pacing of the film, and it picks up. It's one of those movies that builds and builds and builds and builds, and it has a great payoff at the end. And once it gets going, it doesn't let go. It is like edge of your seat excitement. The beginning of it is kind of slow. It's jumping from character to character, and now I'm kind of like, okay, who is this, and what are they doing, and 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 you know what what role did they play in this story, and uh, and 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 it, and it unfolds. It shows you exactly uh, where what happens to them throughout this story, and it, it's it's pretty insane of everything that took place. This movie is one of my favorite movies. 
I know that it's got a wide release now in 2017, but this is actually a 2016 release. It, it got a limited release and uh, into the, at the end of 2016, so it could be runner up for Oscars and awards, and a lot of films get like that. And then finally, the everyday uh, uh, person can actually see it. You know, if you don't, if you live on the West Coast, you have a better chance of seeing these movies. But if you don't, you have to wait. You gotta wait a month or so, or if it gets leaked online or whatever. So, uh, so yeah, I wish I would have saw that Deepwater Horizon a lot sooner than I did. I didn't know how much I was going to like that film. I ended up loving it. I didn't know how much I was going to like this film. I end up loving it. And this, I, I tried to go back and forth in my head. Which one do I like better? Do I like Deepwater Horizon or do I like Patriot's Day? And really, you can't compare them. Deepwater Horizon is like a disaster movie. And it's very good. Um, you know, it's got a, it's, Kurt Russell's in that movie. It's one of my favorite actors. But this film here, it, there's something about it that just, that just, at, by the end of the movie, you are just like, you, you are cheering that they found these two guys that did this. And, um, the, some of the tragedy that happened between the bombing and the actual uh, end to where they found the guy in the boat. If some of y'all didn't know, I know it was on the news and stuff like that, they found the guy on the boat, uh, one of the guys on the boat. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to give away too many spoilers or anything like that. But this movie is very, very well acted. Whenever John, give, John, John Goodman gives his all, Mark Wahlberg, he does the best what he can. He has a couple of shining moments. Um, Kevin Bacon, he, he comes in as a badass. He's, he's the head of the FBI guy, uh, FBI's um, investigation team, and, and he's the one that, that is is really searching for these guys with the CCTV footage. And really Mark Wahlberg's character that plays into all this is that he's the guy that knows the city the best. He's the guy that knows what restaurant has cameras, where this location is, where's that location, and he's the one that, that kind of helps provide all this information to the FBI. Um, like, like, for instance, like there's one, one scene where he shined where he was just kind of like, you know, uh, the next camera is down here at, at the pizzeria or something like that. And then the next camera is down here. And that, that's really all, all that that's there. And then he gives a little bit of a message at near the end of the movie, which was really good. But at, other than that, other than the beginning and, 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 and what I just explained to you, it's really based on the individuals that, that actually have a role in this situation. And it's it's crazy. I highly, highly recommend, if you have not seen Patriot's Day, go see it. You will not be disappointed. This is one of the best films I have seen in some time now. and. I'm telling you, I'm, I, I, I would give this, if, if I was on a scale of 1 to 10 of rating this, I would give it a 9.5. I mean, this is super fucking fantastic. It's, it's crazy. I will own this movie when it comes out. If you haven't seen it, go see it. If you have seen it, what'd you think about it? Comment below, let me know. If you're not subscribed to Destination Station, Subscribe now. Should be somewhere around here or whatever. Just just subscribe if you want more videos like this. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the film. Let's have a discussion about it. What'd you like? What's your favorite Peter Berg film? I'd like to know. Um, he has so many out there, and I, I'm really really looking forward to the next project that he does. I I cannot express how much people need to go see this film. Please give it some love. Okay, because that movie, Deepwater Horizon, kind of flopped at the box office. It's getting a lot of recognition now. It's on Blu-ray and DVD, 4K or whatever. But a lot of people didn't go see it at the theater. Go see this one, okay? Th th you will not be disappointed. I hope you guys like this review. I'm going to do more like this for the year 2017. I'm going to have a channel update here soon. Just stick around, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, kill that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.